Hello everyone, I am CS Anjana Mishra, currently working as the lead functional consultant at PISP Solutions, having seven years of experience as Oracle EPM consultant across different business segments. PISP Solutions is a tech company providing technological solutions worldwide. So we as your tech partners have a far-flung proficiency in end-to-end -end implementation and support in Oracle EPM Solutions stack. It includes SBA's planning, budgeting, financial consolidation, cloud, and account reconciliations. We have served more than 35 countries across the globe with more than 50 projects delivered to happy customers. Oracle ARCS is basically a cloud-based application that helps the companies, be it large or small, medium companies, to perform their monthly reconciliations uh, easily with all the security, uh, with effective man uh, management, uh, it addresses the security and the risk issues, and it automates the reconciliation process. Uh, let's start with our today's session of notes receivable. Uh, so notes receivables are basically a balance sheet item uh, that records the value of the promissory notes that a business is owed or should receive a payment from an outsider that is uh, one who has a notes payable. So basically promissory notes are written promises to pay ca uh, cash uh, by one party to another party on a specified date at some percent of interest if charged. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, these are just dummy uh, entries of notes receivables. How uh, notes receivable entries are actually passed when they are uh, when they come into existence and when they are get uh, when they get paid. Uh, let us move directly to our Oracle ARCS cloud. So as you can see, this is the Oracle ARCS cloud. Uh, here I have already created a profile uh, for the notes receivables uh, so that uh, the whole process of our uh, reconciliation uh, is done at a faster speed. So as you can see, this is my notes receivable profile that I have created. The format used is current assets and the account type is accounts receivables, of course. And format is current asset because it is a part of a current asset under the balance sheet item. Uh, promissory notes are basically those notes uh, which are paid uh, in within uh, 12 months of uh, from being issued. So they are actually current assets that are displayed under the balance sheet. Uh, so this is my property that I have created for notes receivables. This is my workflow where I am preparing uh, notes receivables at, uh, on monthly basis. It totally depends on your organization. If you do not uh, deal with notes receivables that much, you can perform the reconciliation on a quarterly basis also. Uh, this is the user that is a preparer who is going to prepare the reconciliation. And uh, Anita Kennedy is the reviewer who is going to review and approve whether the reconciliation that is prepared by Mr. Frank Taylor is correct, validated or not. And I have attached, depending on my past trends of my business, I've just attached a rule that any uh, promissory note between zero USD to 45,000 uh, USD is a normal uh, is a normal balance of my promissory note accounts. And hence uh, it shall be auto approved from the reviewer side uh, once uh, Mr. Frank Taylor, that is who is a better, if he, once he submits the reconciliation, if the amount of my source system balance is between U zero USD to 45,000 USD, then the uh, reconciliation shall be automatically approved. It actually uh, create, this is actually done so that the time and efforts are channelized to some more important uh, uh, work or operational activities or reconciliation activities. Uh, before we go uh, any forward, let us just uh, see the format that I have used. I have used the current asset format. 
So this is my current asset format. There the source system is the system and a balance explanation tab is provided in order to explain the balance that is under the source system as in which promissory note to which customer, or it can be there, there can be various balance explanations that can be provided uh, depending on organization to organization. So a uh, balance explanation tab explains the balance of the source system. So uh, let us just uh, go on to our periods. Uh, period is basically the month for which you want to create a reconciliation for. I want to create a reconciliation for the period of April 2019. Uh, before moving any forward, uh, this is the format of my Excel sheet that I'll be uploading so as to upload the balance of my source system to uh, my note receivable profile that I have created in the Oracle ARCS. Uh, which contains a three column uh, things that is reconciliation account ID, where is uh, in our case it is 303 uh, NORV, that is our profile ID. Currency code um, depends on which currency bucket you are using. If you are a multinational company, you can have you uh, can use the three currency bucket where you can have a different entered currency, different functional currency, and a different reporting currency. But since I am a, um, a single uh, national, I'm not a multinational company, I only work under US. So my currency code is functional, that is the US dollars. So I'll be uploading uh, the currency code under USD. And the amount is, of course, whatever is the amount in my notes receivables. Uh, as per my accounting books or your ERP solutions, whichever you use. Uh, this is the uh, Excel sheet that I'll be uploading where uh, the balance for my notes receivables uh, account shows as 70,000 USD. Moving back to our Oracle ARCS cloud, I would just import my balance to that particular profile Oh, sorry, to that particular period, uh, it is going to map the uh, profile or something. This is my pro uh, file that I will be uploading. Balance type is source system because we have a source system tab uh, and a balance explanation tab under current assets format. Uh, period is April 2019 for which I would like to perform the reconciliation. Currency bucket is functional for my, in my case, it can be different in your case, depending on the type of organization that you are. And I'm just going to import the balance. So my balance has been uploaded from here. I'm just going to go to my profile, which I have created and create a reconciliation for that particular profile. Uh, reconciliations can also be created from the uh, periods tab, but since I only we are only talking about single profile and we are focusing on a single profile only, it is better that I go to the profile section and create a reconciliation for that particular profile. It is much easier and a faster method of doing that. But you can also create a reconciliation for all the profiles under the periods tab also. So now, as you can see, my uh, re reconciliation has been created. That means uh, my one profile has been successfully copied under the reconciliations, uh, create reconciliation tab. Now let us just uh, go to our reconciliation tab and see whether the uh, amount that we had uh, uploaded or the file that we have uploaded has been currently uh, correctly mapped or not and uh, the balance that is shown is correct as per the file that we have uploaded as you can see it was the same amount that it was in my excel sheet which we had uploaded so the source system balance is exactly 70000 usd which we have uploaded now we can just also check whether it is uploaded under the functional currency bucket entered or not. So as you can see, it has been entered into the uh, functional uh, currency bucket of my uh, Oracle ARCS. Now, whoever will be the preparer, in our case, it is Mr. Frank Taylor, will, pre uh, will give a balance explanation as in uh, what is this 70,000 pertaining to, what are the uh, account receivables or not, or something like that, whatever is the, uh, whatever is your uh, explanation to it. So let us just do one thing. 
I'm just going to sign out uh, because here we have signed in as an administrator. I'm just going to sign out as an administrator and uh, I'm going to sign in as Mr. Frank Taylor, the preparer for this particular type of reconciliation. I'm going to sign out from here and sign in as Mr. Frank Taylor. So I've just logged out as an administrator and signed in as Mr. Frank Taylor. I'm going to go to my reconciliations. Now I am Mr. Frank Taylor who uh, prepared for certain reconciliations. So now as you can see as a preparer, I have all these reconciliations that I need to prepare. I can uh, use various filters to filter the reconciliation and perform it depending on the reconciliations risk and various uh, organizational structure that you have. La let us just directly go to our reconciliation that we are talking about that is notes receivables. Now, as you can see, this is a reconciliation that is open with the preparer. Uh, now, I, uh, as the preparer, am going to provide an explanation to the uh, source system balance. It can be any uh, demo. It can be any balance explanation or what is in your, as per the accounts receivables, accounts receivable received, interest, or whatever is your explanation to that particular uh, source system balance. So here I'm just putting a demo balance explanation. Now uh, you can, of course, uh, if you've got uh, like 70,000 has 10,000 per transaction. So you can put 10 transactions uh, of, uh, sorry, you can put seven transactions of 10,000 each giving a, description, short description about uh, which account receivable or what is there and a long description as in uh, why is it uh, showing as a balance in your notes receivable and a transaction date attached to that particular uh, transaction. I'm going to save it from here. Also, you can attach an attachment here from here about giving an Excel sheet or a document pertaining to a reasonable explanation to the source system balances. Here you can post a comment as in why did you give this explanation to that particular balance so that the reviewer uh, is able to see and understand, apprehend the exact uh, uh, a reason for this uh, balance explanation provided by you. So all these are here. Uh, now I am going to just submit my reconciliation. I submitted the reconciliation. Now it is open with the reviewer. Now, as you can see, the status has changed. Before it was open with the preparer. Now it is open with the reviewer to review. Uh, now we have just put a rule under the profile that if the balance, the source system balance, that is this balance of 70,000 USD, had it been between zero to 45,000 USD, then uh, you would have just, uh, sorry, then the uh, reconciliation would have been automatically approved from the reviewer's side. But uh, now here, uh, since it is 70,000, so it is open with the review, a reviewer. Had it been a zero to 45,000, it would have been automatically approved. So this was it from my side on uh, notes receivables reconciliation. And in case of any questions regarding the profile creation, uh, format or implementation for the purpose of Oracle ARCS or any Oracle EPM uh, stack, uh, we would be uh, more than happy to help you. Just reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you so much. Have a good day.